Because when we start picking what we think we can sustain, Ricky, what we do is we pick an average version ourselves we think we can keep up. What's fear of success? There you go. Okay, so let's put these down, right? So there's a few things we avoid with this. I don't want those expectations on me. I don't want that exposure. I don't want that criticism. I don't want that judgment. I don't want to have to sustain that effort. We can see it in simple stuff with conditioning. Why don't people run as hard as they can on every single exercise? I don't mean run fast at the same speed. I mean, why don't they run as hard as they possibly can every single time? It's not because they can't do it once. It's because they're worried that if they did it once, they would have to do it what? Every time. And so rather than run as hard as they can every time, they pick a level of effort that they think they could keep up for the duration of it. And it's bullshit in exercise and it's bullshit in life. Because when we start picking what we think we can sustain, Ricky, what we do is we pick an average version ourselves we think we can keep up. This is about choosing the best version of us and saying, I'll just take everything that comes with it. Let's go. But it's real. I, I underestimated how much that really slows people down. So your first challenge, all of you, for yourselves and for your teammates, isn't to actually get elite. It's to what? It's to actually make the attempt. Most people get stopped by that. Like, guys, fully 99% of people get stopped by something on that list. They're too afraid, it's too uncomfortable, they don't want failure, they're afraid of the success, they're complacent, they're happy with what they have so they don't even try, they avoid the expectations, they don't want the exposure so they hide in the middle, they avoid all of the criticism or they get up here, a little criticism touches them and so they drift back to there or a lot of criticism does. They don't want judgment, their family judges them. They realize the effort is too long to sustain so they do it for a short period of time. Uh, they don't work hard enough. They, the, some relationship in their life, mom, dad, uncle, brother, cousin, girlfriend, bro, anybody who just says, oh, you think you're, what do they say? You think you're better than us or whatever the version of you going up here is? Because what? When you go this way and they stay here, we do what? We start separating. And when they separate, these people have to tell themselves a reason as to why you're up here. And when you start going that way, does this crowd say, go, I hope you make it? No. What do they do? They chisel, and sometimes those people are close to us. Sometimes you don't find out that your boy isn't really your boy until you start going this way and he or she stays here. And here's the thing. If you go this way and they're not cheering you on, if you're going this way and they're not helping you, look, you don't have to attack them. Just what? Let them show you who they are, and then you focus on you. If they're not all in on you getting up here, let it go. The difference between a leader and a non-leader, I told this to the staff today. A leader takes responsibility for more than themselves. A non-leader just takes responsibility for themselves. Spend the next 24 hours to seven days, one to seven days, wrestle with whether or not you want to take responsibility for more than you in this program. Coach, can you win with guys who take responsibility for themselves? Does everybody need to take responsibility for things more than themselves? No. So you don't have to be a guy that takes responsibility for more than you. But what we do need to do is if you want to compete as a program at a higher level, you personally have got to decide whether or not you want to be the leader responsible for more than me, meaning responsible for you five guys. Your attitude, your behavior, your patterns, your work, your effort are whose responsibility. In addition to yours, they're also... Mine, ours. I'm gonna make sure that your attitude is where it needs to be. I'm not gonna control you, but if your attitude isn't right, I don't get to relax. I, get to, I gotta come in and put effort in. Or am I gonna be a guy who just takes care of me? We can win with one. It really helps if we have both, but you gotta have self-awareness for yourself. Does that make sense? Okay, all right. I'll stick around here, we'll do some team stuff, and, uh, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get to chat a little bit more. So thank you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Remember to subscribe and click the bell for notifications so you don't ever miss a post.